guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been MIA for a hot minute and one of the main reasons is because I have been dealing with some Mirena IUD issues. That's what I'm gonna talk about today. I finally got that little sucker removed. First and foremost, an IUD is considered a drug, I believe, and drugs affect everybody differently. One person's gonna get a different experience than this person. Somebody might love it, somebody might hate it. That was me. Today I'm going to talk about my experience with it. I'm not trying to scare you away. I just want you to be aware of it. And if you've been having these symptoms and you have an IUD, I think it would be smart to consider that this might be the root of your issues because I got mine out and I ain't going back. So let's get into it. So for a few years before I got the IUD, I was actually on the pill. Everything was okay with it, but I was just kind of tired of taking it every single day. I know that's like so lazy of me, but I'm just saying. And I want to try something different and something that's like oops proof. That's like what they refer to an IUD as. And when I went to my gynecologist, there was no questions asked. She was like, yep, this is great. Uh, the Mirena is going to be the least amount of, I think she said it was like the least amount of hormones or affects you the least negatively out of any IUD option. I forget. She basically just told me you do this one. And I was like, sure. And IUDs are actually suggested for people who have had children in the past. I have not, so it hurt worse than somebody who has had a baby. But the pain was pretty bad going in. I wouldn't say it was the worst pain I've ever felt because I broke my arm, but it was just a different kind of pain. Like I've never had a contraction as I've had a baby. Like I don't know how that feels, but I'm guessing it's like similar to that maybe. And the Mirena IUD that I got was a hormonal IUD, so it releases hormones into your, directly into your uterus and it lasts up to five years. And I got this in July 2015 or August, summer 2015. And I ended up getting it removed this past August. So right around the three year mark, that's when everything got crazy. And I had some problems before, but around three years is when I couldn't do it anymore. I was like, nope, this is coming out. So some of the symptoms that I had, first and foremost, I had such bad nausea. I could not figure out what it was. So I'm talking to one of my best friends who's pregnant right now and she was telling me how she had really bad morning sickness. And I was asking her like, what causes that? Cause I've never been pregnant. I'd never really like researched that. And she told me that it's hormone imbalance. So like your hormones are getting all out of whack. Like when you're going to pregnancy and it hit me that my IUD is throwing off my hormones. I didn't have a prize at the end of it. Usually when you're going through morning sickness, it goes away in your second trimester or whatever, and then you get your baby and you're like all happy. Mine just kept lasting the whole three years, so that sucked. So I had nausea and then I also had an upset stomach from the fact that I started to develop a lactose intolerance and I never had an issue with dairy before. A hormone imbalance can also cause dairy intolerance. So here I am, feeling like I'm gonna throw up every time I eat, no matter what it is, feeling even worse when it's dairy and not being able to enjoy some of the best foods on this earth. So I've been eating vegan food or vegan substitutes, which are fine, but like, I just want a donut. It's just annoying because sometimes I just want regular milk instead of almond milk. I don't know, it just sucks. And I have to take a lactose pill, like a lactose enzyme, like a lactate. I have to take one of those every single time I eat dairy. And if I'm going out to dinner or something, even if I say, don't put butter in it, ooh, this is worse. When I go out to breakfast, I even say, don't put butter in it. And a lot of times they put butter, even though I said, I'm lactose intolerant, please don't put butter in it. And they still do. So it's a struggle. And also, since every single time I ate, basically, I felt like I was gonna throw up. I lost a lot of weight and I wasn't happy about that because I don't wanna be this skinny. I'm trying to gain muscle and I can't eat anything. I've actually been tracking my macros lately and my calories and it's hard for me to eat more than like 1300 calories and I feel like I should be eating way more than that. So it's really frustrating, so I'm working on that. But honestly, I just don't have an appetite and I think that I'm just thrown off. This is a little bit minor and I'm not sure if it was true or not, but right when I got it, I started noticing my hair was kind of falling out. Like when I was in the shower, like big clumps would come out. So I started Googling it. Sometimes Google can be your worst enemy, but sometimes you find forums of people who have the same thing. So I think that some people said that their hair was falling out as well. So um, that was minor. I don't think it was like falling out 
felt terribly, but I started noticing like bigger clumps. This is a pretty bad one. So I started noticing that I was developing a sun stash, some people call it. I was starting to get discoloration on my upper lip and my boyfriend's like, why don't you just wax your lip or something? And I'm like, it's not there. It's my skin. Now don't be alarmed because I'm about to show you some raw footage of me fresh out the shower with my little whatever, melesma is what it's called, melesma stash showing. It's pretty gross. So I've been taking some different measures now. I'm trying some new things to get rid of that. So I'm working on it, but um, sorry, I started getting melesma up here above my eyebrow, like a little dark patch. And also I started to notice, I think it's called Linnea. I don't know what it's called, but it's a line. I don't know if you've ever seen on a pregnant woman, she'll get like a line from her belly button, like a vertical line coming down. I started to get that on my belly and I was like, what is going on? And then I started to get a horizontal line. So I have like a plus sign line, like a really faint, but a little bit darker line, like on, like under my belly button. And I look silly and I'm just like, that's happening. This is happening. This is happening all on my skin. Hair's kind of falling out. I'm feeling sick. And to top it all off, I finally, understood what people were talking about when they said they had anxiety because I've heard of people having anxiety before but I didn't really understand like what do you have anxiety about like what is it like I was trying to like empathize with people who had it but I didn't really understand until I got it and I was freaking out it was bad I could not get the thought of death out of my head I'm comfortable with my faith and I pray to God all the time and I I pray that I get into heaven, but I don't know. When I was thinking about death all the time and having anxiety about it, I wanted to know every detail. Like I was scared about dying, even though I'm only 26. Like, why am I thinking about dying? And then I was thinking about, oh my gosh, am I gonna get into heaven? And then I started thinking about, I need to get rid of all my worldly obsessions. I'm like, God's gonna hate me. And I'm like, why won't this go away? I was freaking out and it was so stressful. And I think that's when I was like, this is absolutely the last straw. I need to get this out of me. And I even went back to Google and found another forum, somebody talking about it. And she explained it as she had an overwhelming sense of doom. And I was like, that is exactly how I feel. Like everything was scaring me. Everything was stressing me out. I had overwhelming anxiety. That's when I made my appointment and I made the appointment to get it taken out. So it was in August. And the lady on the phone was asking me if I wanted to replace my IUD. And I said, no, I just want to get back to normal. And she's like, do you want the pill? And I said, no, I just want to get my body back to normal. I just want to be zen. That's what I keep saying. I just want to be zen. I want my regular. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. I want my regular body function. I want my normal hormones to be flowing as they should be. I want everything to just be doing its thing. And then I get there and my um, gyno is taking it out. Didn't even hurt. Going in hurts so much worse. So if you're scared about getting yours taken out, it does not hurt, trust me. But then she immediately starts pushing prenatal vitamins at me and she's like, hopefully it doesn't take you that long to get pregnant and I'll be seeing you soon. If it's been a year and you're still having issues, let me know and we'll talk about further options or something. And I just went along with it. I didn't even want to talk to her and say, oh, no, thanks. Like, I'm not trying to get pregnant because I'm not. Because I knew that she would just start pushing another form of birth control on me, even though I just want to be normal. I just want to, I just want everything out. I just want to be me. I just want to be me and be normal. And then I was just looking back and thinking about it. And I was like, wow, I can't believe that Oh my God, I missed a whole section of this story. Okay, so I went to my doctor's office, my regular doctor, and I got a bunch of testing done, blood work, some other testing that's not cute, that helps determine if you have stomach issues and things and just a bunch of stuff. A couple thousand dollars worth of testing done. And then they all came back and said, I was normal. This is not normal. Like how I'm feeling is not normal. I'm around other people and they're able to eat and not feel like they're gonna throw up. Like, what is my issue? 
And then I'm talking to my doctor and I mentioned that I have an IUD and I think that I want to get it taken out because I think it's causing nausea. And she was like, she like scoffed at my idea and was like, no, that's probably not it. You can get it taken out if you want to, but this shouldn't be affecting you that much. Like, but if you want to do it, you can. So she was like scoffing at my idea. And then when I get to my gyno, I told her that too. And she's like, well, this one shouldn't be affecting you that much. Like they keep saying this to me, but I know my body and I know that they know everything about the body that they've been studying for years and they've been practicing as doctors, but I'm the one that has to live with this every single day. So that was my decision. But I couldn't believe that they told me in the beginning that this wouldn't be affecting me that much. And then it did like majorly. And then at the end, when I told them that I wanted it taken out, they were scoffing at my idea that it was causing my nausea. And then guess what? When I get it taken out within a week, I felt amazing. I felt like I was on top of the world. I had energy that I never had before. I was able to eat so much food. I wanted to eat the whole house. I was a little bit nervous about dairy. I tried a little bit and it was better. It still kind of hurt, but it wasn't the worst. So I'm still like being a little bit careful about dairy, but I'm not kidding you within a week. I felt amazing when I took it out or when my gyno took it out to take it out yourself and then my first period rolls around and I think my hormones went out of whack again because I felt amazing up until that point and then I got my period and I don't know what it was but I just felt off again like I I didn't get all the symptoms back with like anxiety and like all that stuff but when it came to my stomach aches they've been better but I, I'm still getting them. Like I still feel like I don't really have an appetite, which is concerning to me. And I still need to keep reminding myself to eat because I physically don't feel like eating, but like I don't want to wither away to nothing. Like I'm trying to build muscle, like this sucks. And that first period back was a little bit rough, not gonna lie. Lots of cramps, bleeding for a solid week. And not just like cutesy little like on and off, it was like pow. But then again, I really didn't have like a full period for about three years because when you're on the IUD, it kind of like slowly goes away. And I'm not gonna go into all the science about it. You can Google that if you want to and like see how the marina works. But that's what happened to me. And I feel bad that I haven't been posting at all, but I've made so many videos in that time up until now that I just look back at the videos and I don't even, I don't sound happy. I don't sound like myself. I just sound like blah and like drab. I'm like, that's not me. Like you know me, I'm, I ain't drab. So I just wanted to make sure that I was posting like actually good videos. So I hope this was informative for you. And if you're having any of these symptoms and you have an IUD, go ahead and explore your options and see if this is possibly causing all your issues. And maybe if you want to get it taken out, but I gotta say, so far, not having any birth control, I'm feeling pretty good, not gonna lie. I'm feeling pretty great. So let me know if this was helpful for you. I really hope that sharing my story helps you guys with your decisions um, as far as birth control and everything. So I'm just happy, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling zen. I'm feeling like I'm zenning out. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night.